Hello and welcome back to more of my limited heal run of Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we defeated Gym Leader Erica and got ourselves the Rainbow Badge. And in this episode, well, we've already fought the Snorlax, so we're gonna spend this episode going along... Did I get the... I didn't get the HM for Fly yet, actually. Yeah, I didn't to save space because we're not gonna bother teaching it to anybody until Charlie evolves. But yeah, we've got the uh, cycling road to take on, which reminds me, who do I have in front again? Okay, Dino Bunny. Yeah, we're gonna raise him up a little bit. I don't know if I want to fight all these guys. There's quite a few trainers in Cycling Road, and I can easily take on some of these guys um, off screen. But I figure we'll show a few trainer battles. I don't really show that many trainer battles in this series, mostly because I want to sort of compress time. But, you know, it couldn't hurt. I, I don't do it very often, so I'll do it here. Alright, let's see. What are we going to do against this Grimer? We really don't have a whole lot of choices, and coincidentally, it disabled Body Slam, and we're going to miss Rock Slide. Alright, let's try a Horn Attack then. Um, and if if you notice my voice being a little nasally, it's because I, I do have a cold, sort of the beginnings of a cold, I guess. It's not it's not quite full-blown, but just it's just some congestion, and it's kind of annoying, but... I'm here doing this video mostly because I'm gonna have a busy, um, well I'm recording this the week before it's going up and I'm having, a, I'm having a busy weekend coming up and I'm not sure how much more free time I'm gonna have this, the rest of this week that I'm recording this. So I want to get it out of the way now because I also have a video to record for Team Eclipse for next week. And I want to make sure that I save some time for that, that I have the webcam so I have to make sure it's a good time of day and that my hair is not, a. Uh, not having a bad hair day. All these things to keep in mind when there's a when there's face cam. Which I do think face cam's kind of fun. You know, you get a little bit of expressiveness. You get a little bit more. It's a little bit more personalized, I guess. But it does make for me anyway. It makes recording more difficult because I don't have the most sophisticated setup in terms of lighting and all that. So I'm really dependent on like time of day and stuff. All right. Well, yeah, we're not going to take on every single trainer, I don't think. We'll we'll do about every other trainer. Oh, and look at this cue ball. I do not know what he was wearing there, but we're going to ignore that. He also had a whip, which a lot of trainers in Generation 1 seem to have. Really Sleepy would be the best Pokémon to use against these guys. But we're going to save we're going to save Sleepy for a little bit later. I should also be be keeping in mind to, um, to not let, um, what's his name? Um, to not let Shades get too, uh, too far behind in terms of levels. Because I don't have a whole lot that I'm, that I'll need to use him for until I get to Blaine's gym, but of course in the meantime I need to keep his levels up so that he'll be caught up. I mean, really the next two gyms are gonna be all on Sleepy. So I really need to keep the others uh, leveled up. I mean, I think I think even though, like I explained in the previous episode, I every time I played through Kanto, I've always taken on Sabrina before Koga. But I think in this case, it would be more beneficial for me to take on Koga first. Um, I do think, if I remember correctly, I do think that... Um, I do think that... What do I think? I'm trying to think of what Pokemon I should lead with, actually. Um, I do think that... Whoa, did you see that guy? He saw us without even looking at us. Did you see that? He was looking the other way. This sneaky guy. Anyway. Um, I think that the trainers in Koga's gym might be a little bit higher than the trainers in Sabrina's gym, but as I said before, Koga's and Sabrina's Pokemon are at roughly the same level, similar level. So you can really take them on in either order. And I think in this case it might be beneficial to get Koga's Gym under our belt before we take on Sylphco. Just because, I don't know, I'd rather do it that way for this particular time. Alright, what are we gonna use? Another Bubble Beam, probably. I'm trying very hard not to sniffle, but it's getting pretty difficult. Because my voice just gets increasingly more nasally if I don't. I'll try to either cut out those parts, or just be farther away from the microphone so it doesn't pick it up. I really apologize, that's probably um, getting a little uh, something I shouldn't be discussing there. 
I just want to let you know that the struggle is real and I'm trying very hard to sound as normal as possible. Oh. Oh. That was weird. Is I don't know if the recording sound is cutting out, but my sound was cutting out. Like... Oh no, I think this has happened before. I don't think it'll be a problem on the recording, but... Like, the sound cut out, and then the sound went, like... High-pitched and high-speed for a second, and then it went back to normal. I'm gonna have to check back in the recording if it actually did that in the recording. But I think it happened one time before when I was recording this. Oh, one second. I'm gonna- I'm gonna just outright mute the microphone for this. Hold up. Okay, apologies for that, again. The struggle is so real, as I've said before. No, but, but I mean, to be honest, I, I really feel fine. I just have uh, very annoying symptoms, but my voice is still here, so as long as I can speak, I will continue recording. All right, let's see how we're looking here. Um, How close is Shades to getting another level? Oh, we're really close to level 25, so we'll just give him a potion or something. Fresh water? We do have a lot of fresh waters, so I'll just give him a fresh water. I mean, we always have Sleepy if we get into a pinch. Let's fight this guy, and then I'll ignore the other guy. Like, we'll get all the way down to Cycling Road first. Okay, this biker just has one Pokémon, and it's a Weezing, so that's lovely. I uh, bet you have Self-Destruct, too, don't you, you freaking level 33 Weezing? Should we go Ice Beam and go for the Freeze? I'm gonna try it. It has higher base power than Bubble Beam, although... Of course we get poison. That sludge was nasty, too, by the way. Um, but... Actually, I guess with stab... Oh, we did get the freeze, but look at how little damage that did. The good news is this thing is frozen for good. The bad news is I don't know if we want to keep, um... The bad news is I don't know if we want to keep trucking along with shades here due to the abysmal amount of damage that he's doing. Yeah, we might as well swap out here. Um, let's let's let Charlie handle this actually, because there are no abilities in Generation One. Weezing does not have levitate, so we can hit this thing with a nice little dig. Should hopefully do a good amount of damage, especially Charlie's level thirty-one, much higher level. And that was decent. Actually, this might not have been a good choice after all, because um, yeah, we could hit it with Ember, but that would unfreeze it. I'm pretty sure. Actually, that would be an interesting thing to test out, but I don't feel like testing it out. Instead, I feel like as long as this thing is frozen, we're just gonna use all these leers to guarantee as much as possible that this last dig we use will knock it out. Heck, maybe a scratch will knock it out. Yeah, I don't want to risk unfreezing this thing. I oh, Nope, not yet. One more leer, just for good measure. I don't want to risk unfreezing this thing and then getting a taste of, like, a self-destruct or something. Because as, as curious as I was to test that out, that you could thaw out a Pokémon in Generation 1, as curious as I was, I thought it best not to do so. Like I said, the, the negative consequences could have been much worse than the positives of testing that theory. Alright, everybody is taking a bit of a beating here, so... Ah, heck, let's put Banana up front for now. I won't fight you. We're gonna ignore some of these trainers. Like I said, we can always come back to them later. And we'll just kinda see how many we run into on our way down here. I'm not sure if the entire episode will be just Cycling Road. Basically though, this will be a majority, majority training episode. Alright, let's... Let's go for the Thunder Wave here. Just to do our best to incapacitate this thing, because Weezing can be pretty nasty. Weezing are... Well, other than I think... Ooh, other than, I think there's a trainer that has a Machoke on this route, but other than that, the Weezing are the pretty much the biggest threats on this route. Yeah, because that Thunderbolt doesn't even do that much. Let's see if Seismic Toss will do more. I don't think that'll be more, actually, but we'll see. Oh no, it, it does look like a little bit more. Oh my gosh, that Tackle. Alright, we got a fresh water. And we're gonna get smogged. Watch, we're gonna get poisoned too, aren't we? Oh, no we didn't. Alright, thank you. 
just waiting for that thing to self-destruct. Although the level 33 Weezing didn't self-destruct, I don't know that the level 28 one would either. Granted, we were lucky enough to freeze the level 33 one. Alright, these are just coughing, or at least this one's just a coughing, so we should be able to do okay with a Thunderbolt against it, I think. Weezing are not supposed to be that good in terms of special. Alright, let's see if Seismic Toss does more than Thunderbolt on coughing. Nope, not quite, but can we take it out with a quick attack? This is a this actually might be a little bit risky. Okay, no, we take it out. We're good. And we've got another Weezing. Alright, let's switch out. You know what? Forget it. Let's go for Sleepy. Bring out the big guns. We do need to kind of have Sleepy continuing to lead the pack in terms of levels anyway. In fact, I think it might be for the best to have a couple of episodes of training, like fighting the trainers on the roots before we go ahead and like take on Koga's gym, for example. Because both Koga and Sabrina have Pokemon in the range of level 50, which actually makes me think that my previous statement about wanting to take on Koga before Sylph Co. I think I might want to do it in reverse, because the Pokemon at Sylph Co. are gonna be lower than the Pokemon... Ooh, there's that Muck, too. Muck similarly threatening to cough to Weezing, except that it can't explode. But yeah. Um... The Pokemon at Sylph Co. are actually gonna be lower leveled than the Pokemon in either of the two gyms coming up, so maybe we should take on Sylph Co. first. All I know is the definite first thing we should do is take on as many trainers as we can. That'll kind of... I should try to get all of my Pokémon as close to or above level 30 as possible. I think that's kind of where I want to be before I decide what to do next. Um, about half my team... well, well, two Pokémon on my team are already past that. A couple of other Pokémon are reasonably close. Well, Banana and um, I guess Dino Bunny are reasonably close. So really just Bulby and Shades. Really, in theory, two of my favorite Pokemon out of the ones on my team. But they're the ones farthest away from level 30. Well, we got Banana level 28. I think that was that guy's only Pokemon. Yep. Alright, let's see if there's any others on this side of the route. I think there's at least one more on this side, but I don't remember. Yeah, here he is. Need a little exercise. Well, isn't that why you're running around on your bike? But wait, are these bikers, do they have- Oh, that's cue ball, so I don't even know what kind of bike he's using. Was the biker trainer class, they're on regular bikes? Or do they happen to be on motorcycles? I didn't actually pay attention. Next time I get one of those trainer sprites, I'm gonna try to pay attention. And there's a low kick. Shouldn't do too much, because we're not that heavy. That was pretty scary, but we can just quick attack, and we'll be good. Okay, let's swap out for somebody. Let's, let's let Bulby have some action here. Still debating whether or not it's worthwhile to teach Bulby, um, Mega Drain. Might not be worth it, honestly. I mean, Mega Drain is a little bit more powerful than Vine Whip, but we will be getting Razor Leaf eventually. And since we only get one Mega Drain, I'm not sure if I'm ready to use that or not. I don't know. Then, when I learn Razor Leaf, I have to decide what to get rid of. Whether I want to just get rid of Vine Whip, because it's basically higher PP than Vine Whip, so it's better and higher power. But then do we need both Poison Powder and Leech Seed? I mean, they kind of cover because I can't poison poison types and I can't use Leech Seed on Grass types. So they kind of cover each other pretty well. And then for those that don't resist either, um, Poison Powder Leech Seed is a pretty good nasty combination. Ooh, that crit. Crit Karate Chop. I swear, it's worse in Generation 1 when it's normal type. I think making it fighting type was so much better because... There's at least things- well, there's more things that resisted, I guess I should say. Okay, Machoke, we see that coming out. We know not to mess around. We're going right into Sleepy. Of course, we're running out of Sleepy- Sleepy's PP. But look at that, one confusion is enough to take out that Machoke. 
Sleepy is just so awesome. I'm so glad. I've, like I said, I've said before, I've never used um, a Drowsy or Hypno before, like actually part of my team. I might have used a Drowsy for a little bit during part of a playthrough, but then always replaced it with something else. Of course, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to to uh, last during this recording because uh, my nose is starting to get the better of me. It's starting to get really annoying to continue speaking. But let's heal up a bunch of our Pokémon. Okay, that'll be pretty good. We've got half of our team or more at decent health. Any other trainers? Yeah, let's fight this guy. Nice bike. All right, this guy's a biker, I, I guess. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, he's got a motorcycle. So they're all talking about, like, getting exercise and stuff. Although, granted, that was a cue ball and he wasn't on a bike. But, you know, they're talking about getting exercise and whatnot. They're on a motorized vehicle. So I guess, yeah, they're not actually getting their exercise by being out here on their bikes. They need to go out and jog a few laps. Alright, who do we have next? Another Weezing or a Muck? Alright, this guy's got Muck and Weezing. This guy is not messing around. Let's just Psychic him, too. You notice that the, like, the top line of pixels um, when Psychic is used doesn't get all, like, wavy during Psychic? I wonder if there's a technical reason for that, or if it's actually an oversight. Alright, um, let's fight this guy. Actually, I should save Banana for, um, I think on the next route before we get to Fuchsia. I think there's some Bird Keepers. So I should save a couple Thunderbolts for that. Yeah, let's go and switch into Sleepy for this one, and then we'll try to use Dino Bunny on the rest of them, I think. Oh, we've got a wheezing. Oh, we've got a wheezing. Well, let's try Dino Bunny. I know Sleepy will be easier, but I want to conserve some of his PP in case we need to use him in another random emergency. Hopefully this doesn't turn into the emergency. Let's go for a paralysis, maybe? Nope. At least we double resist that sludge, though, and we can't get poisoned, so that's good. Okay, let's try this again. Can we get the paralysis, maybe? Ooh, we got a crit, though. Alright, let's just finish it with horn attack. Okay. Dino Bunny level 28. And there's more. There's a coughing. Let's go with... Even though I didn't heal him up, let's go with shades. Uh, let's see. How much is this Bubble Beam gonna do? Uh, not too bad. That's about a three shot, though. I wonder if, wonder if we're in range for Bite to take it out. Man, that Smog was a crit. Fortunately, didn't do too much. Maybe I should have gone for Water Gun instead. Nope, Bite is good enough. Alright. Um, can we stay in? Let's stay in on this coughing. Why not? I know they're lulling me into a false sense of security. Not one of these guys has tried exploding on me once. Ooh, we got a crit with Bubble Beam. Nice. Not one of these guys has used self-destruct so far. I'm just waiting for one of them to, though. Okay, got Shades to level 26. And we've got another Weezing. Well, let's get out of there. You know what? Let's send out Bulby. Just so... We can get some experience and do put a leech seed on it. I don't know that we'll do we would do too much to it though if we tried to stay in. Well let's try a cut and see how much it does. Yeah, unfortunately that's gonna take too long. Sorry, Bulby.
All right, let's go into Dino Bunny. Because four times resistance to poison. Yeah, sludge all you want. Not gonna do you any good here. You do get a crit, though. I will give you that. Covered almost as much with uh, Leech Seed. Let's go for a Body Slam, even though we're running short on those. Got the Paralysis. And let's Body Slam again, I guess. And we'll finish it off with a Horn Attack, if Leech Seed doesn't finish it off. I think it'll fall just short. Yep, just short. Did about half of the remaining HP. Okay, so that was the last trainer on Cycling Road for now. We're gonna take on those Bird Keepers with Banana now. Oh, I guess let's check up- check out what's upstairs here first. Anything? Not really. I'm looking for Tangle. I want to trade one for Parasect. I guess that's a decent trade. Parasect could be arguably more useful than Tangela. At least in this generation when Tangela doesn't evolve. Alright, let's fight these Bird Keeper dudes. I think they're all Bird Keepers. I think. Maybe one of them's a Camper? Or Junior Trainer? Whatever they call it. No, this one's a Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper Toby. Actually, there is one of the trainers on the route east of Fuchsia. Only in Generation 2, of course, because the trainers didn't have names in Generation 1. But one of the trainers over there, I think, was Bird Keeper Toby, and that's where he got the idea for the YouTube name. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bird Keeper Toby, if you happen to be watching this. I did know he did watch at least one of- oh, he fear was gonna thunderbolt us. He did watch at least one of my sweet speculation videos and gave me a positive comment, so that was pretty much like one of the highlights of my YouTube career so far. Anyway, enough borderline- nah, it's not really fangirling, but enough, uh, enough borderline gushing. We got a wild encounter over here, probably a Doduo. Yeah. I don't really- I really- I want to conserve PP here, though, for the trainers, so I'm not gonna bother attacking it, even though it might be decent experience. And got another Bird Keeper, of course. Actually, I don't think I have enough Thunderbolts to handle all of these guys. Yeah, so let's do some Seismic Tossing. Okay, that was about half. Hopefully the next Seismic Toss will do enough to knock it out. Not quite. We're gonna have to go for a quick attack. Actually, what might be helpful here is uh, switching to Shades and going for some Ice Beams. Yeah, let's do that. Although Shades is not doing a whole lot better on health, to be honest. And of course we're slower than it, but at least it missed. So there's that. And one shot as I thought. Ice Beam is pretty good. Alright, we've got Firo. Let's see what we can do. Gotta watch out for that Leer. Oh, we missed our Ice Beam. The 1 in 255 chance, but at least he missed Fury Attack. Especially good after Leering us. Not quite gonna be a one-shot, unfortunately. I think Bubble Beam can take it out from this range. Hopefully. Yeah, well, we got a crit, which might have helped. And we've got one more Spearow. So let's stay in and Ice Beam it. Okay, that's done. That bird keeper down. We got one more to go. Before we do, though, let's use a couple more fresh waters. One for banana and another one for shades. Ooh, that was exactly 50. I didn't even notice that. 
That one would have been 52. All right. Last trainer here. Hukuku! Or is it Kurukuku? Bird calls. Bird calls. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to fight this guy. Ooh, he's got a Dodrio. Or Dodrio. I better add that to the list of Pokemon I'm not sure about the pronunciation of. And it's level 34. That is a bit scary. I mean, we have more than enough, op enough options to take it out. But, ooh, Drill Peck. Okay, good thing it didn't get a crit. Although I guess even if it did get a crit, we would have just barely lived it. So, we're okay. Didn't quite make it to level 30 though. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut to the other trainers. We're gonna face all the other trainers I missed on Cycling Road and that'll be it for the episode, but I'm gonna cut to the trainers again so you don't have to see me go all the way back. All right, see you in a second. Okay, actually made my way to the side or to the top of Cycling Road again. So that you didn't have to see it, you really travel at a crawl when you go up cycling road. So I figured I'd get right back to the top, and we'll pick things up from here. Alright, got him a chop. Gonna use our last thunderbolt. And then I guess we'll switch to training up shades a little bit. Alright. Did not quite do a- ooh. Alright, can we take it out with a seismic toss? Please, banana. Okay, good. And we got enough to go to level 30, which is pretty much what I wanted. So Banana is now level 30. We have a Mankey. Um, let's go ahead with Bulby, actually. Because Bulby, Bulby does alright with fighting types. And Lokic's gonna miss, which is good. We're gonna hit our Vine Whip. That's not gonna do as much as it needs to. I guess Mankey and Primeape have... Pretty decent special. Ah, uh, crit karate chop. I hate that. Yeah, cut's doing better. I probably should have set up a leech seed, but that's okay. We're just gonna freshwater Bulby. Just in case. I do not want to risk another crit karate chop. But he's gonna go for furious wipes and miss, so thank you, Mankey. There's that karate chop again. Is gonna be a crit again? Yep, of course it is. I swear, it seems like in Generation 1, karate chop, like, almost always crits. Probably because the Pokemon that learn it tend to be... Not very fast, but I guess they're not very slow either. I guess they're right about an average range, plus it's a high crit chance. Plus, I think the overall crit chance in Generation 1 was a little bit higher than it is in, like, in more recent generations. Okay, got him a chop now. I think we'll let Shades handle this one. Let's go for a Bubble Beam. That could have been better. It's a three shot, but we'll use Water Gun or something after this one. It's Karate Chop after a Leer. Still didn't do that much. I was just about to use Bite, and then I thought, oh no, it's not going to be very effective. And then I remembered, oh no, wait, Bite's normal in this generation. Oops, so it's all good. Okay, got Chains to level 27, so we're actually doing pretty well. I think, um... Well, for this, for this one more guy up here, we'll use Shades again, and I think I might want to switch to Sleepy for the rest of them. I think there's only a couple more. Just down the other side that we didn't go down, the other lane or whatever in Cycling Road. And we've got a Machop. Let's go for another Bubble Beam. There's a Focus Energy which actually basically divided its crit rate by four. Cause yeah, broken, uh, broken focus energy in gen one. All right, let's go for a bite, which is neutral effective, but even if it weren't very effective, it would have taken it out from that range, of course. Bad, bad, bad. Did he say something about being hungry? Like my Pokemon Ferocious, alrighty then. Let's go down cycling road. Oh, we've got We've got quite a few guys to fight, actually. What do you want, kiddo? Yeah, kiddo! Did he say kiddo? No, I think not. <laughs> if you've seen my top 10 Pokemon, I can't pronounce right. Well, don't mean to spoil anything, but, uh... The anime calls Skiddo Skidoo, and we have no other, uh... We have no other way of knowing of, a, of an official pronunciation. But Skiddo is spelled Skiddo. It's not spelled Skidoo. If it were spelled Skidoo, there would be two O's. 
Oh my gosh, Karate Chop. Can we take it out with a bite, please? Alright, we got a crit. That might have mattered. Oh, a Machoke. That is when we run right to Sleepy. But yeah, he said Kiddo, see? And that's what Skiddo's name, I thought, was. Kiddo. Kid like a baby goat. And Kiddo like... You call a kid a kiddo. This, uh, this cue ball dude gets it. But apparently Pokemon anime does not get it. Sleepy girl level 33. Sleepy's doing pretty good. Trying to learn poison gas. Honestly, with as I explained before when I got rid of hypnosis, it's not, um, it's not what we're looking for here. On this particular moveset, we need to focus on damaging moves. Because, uh, because we need to conserve PP as much as possible. Alright, let's go ahead and keep on keeping on here with this guy. There's no money in fighting kids. Excuse me, I've accumulated quite a bit of money. I spent a lot of it on freshwaters and stuff, but... Probably have more money than you. Alright, we've got a Mankey. Let's just go straight for a bite and see how much this does. Low kick might flinch us. But it doesn't. Does low kick still flinch in future generations? I have not known it to. I didn't even know in generation one that it caused flinching. Okay, we're getting pretty dangerous here. Alright, stop. Don't do don't do a fifth one. Okay, good. Lord. I mean, we're not in a nuzlocke, blah blah blah, but I don't want to have to waste a revive. And Primeape. Let's run right back. Man, he looks angry. I know that's the point. But that is why we're gonna Psychic this thing. Ooh, it's faster than us. I mean, I know Sleepy's not that fast. But I didn't know Primeape was that fast either. But Primeape might have decent speed, hence the crit. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Man, I'm, I'm fading fast here. I need to end this episode and go, uh, go take something so I can sleep tonight. But first... Ooh, this guy's got a Voltorb. We're leading with the wrong Pokemon then. But I do want to get these last couple of, um, couple of trainers out of the way. Actually... Voltorb, we don't have to worry about any electric attacks because they don't learn any by level up, funny enough. Their special's pretty high though, so let's just go for a bite. The most annoying thing from Voltorb will be Sonic Boom, as you see, or if it goes for self-destruct, which could always happen, depending on if it's at the right level. Alright, fortunately it missed. And another Voltorb. Okay, we will stay in. It's gonna continue to screech us. Considering it only seems to have... These guys only seem to have Sonic Boom as a damaging attack. That uh, doesn't really matter. I am gonna have to heal after this turn unless we get a crit for some reason. Nope, wasn't lucky enough. Shades, you're not fast enough. Okay. There's the self-destruct, and we, uh, we are, uh, down four stages in defense, so this thing will most likely... yeah. And this is what I hate, like I said, about the, uh, self-destruct moves. When it's not a Nuzlocke, it doesn't really bother me so much as the Pokémon faints, as much as it bothers me, uh, of the wasted experience points. Just wasted experience points! I could have had however many experience points that was! But no, I mean, I should have... After the two... You know, I, I got myself in trouble saying it was only using Sonic Boom. I should have switched to Dino Bunny or someone else that could have taken it. Honestly, Shades could have taken it if it hadn't taken two Screeches already. But, oh well, I guess it's just a Voltorb. Probably didn't have that many experience points to offer. Okay, let's see. Sleepy can take out this Machoke, no problem.
Okay. And yeah, this episode's getting pretty long. Please tell me we are at the end. Nope, got at least one more guy. Be a rebel. No, I don't want to. It's like, by you telling me to be a rebel, it's like you telling me to be a nonconformist. If I listen to you, then I'm conforming. Defeats the purpose. Okay, this thing's scary. We're just gonna run right back to Sleepy again. These fighting and poison types are getting annoying. Especially these evolved ones. Four times, of course. Well, let's go for our last Psychic. Oh, it's faster than us, I forgot. And it got a crit! It's gonna take out Sleepy if it doesn't... Stop hitting! Stop hitting! Dang it! Sorry, Sleepy. I don't really have anybody else who's good for taking this guy out, though. Um, let's body slam it. It's gonna go for Karate Chop. I think I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to, uh, revive Sleepy, I think. It, like, mid-battle. Let's do it. Alright. And Rage. Well, it's locked into Rage now, which is actually a pretty good thing because it's, like, the least damaging thing it could do. We're gonna go for... I think a Confusion is, could be enough to take it out now, actually. Yeah, it's not very, uh, very, uh, threatening. Even if we raise his attack, if we don't knock it out. And we do, so we're fine. Dang. Alright. Another Machoke. Let's stay in. I think we're faster than Machoke by default, so let's Psychic. And Sleepy has now used his last Psychic and Confusion, so let us hope that we're done with the trainers here. I think I need to use a token. I mean, I guess I could do some training in the grass before using a token. I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, good. You know what? I think we might use a token. Let me see where my team is at. I mean, because I think PP-wise, we're running out of a lot of things. I mean, Dino Bunny still got quite a bit. And Shade still has quite a bit. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe in between this episode and the next episode, I'll do a little bit of grinding on wild Pokemon and then use my token. I mean, we're pretty good on tokens. I'm probably being a little overly cautious with my tokens. But it's like, I feel like I have to. What's in here? I forget. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sorry about that. I, I should really... I'm anxious to get this episode done as soon as possible. Alright, I'm not going to use the Pokemon Center yet. I'm going to think about it. I'll probably train up my Pokemon a little bit more. Mostly uh, Shades, maybe Bulby, and Dino Bunny. And then in the next episode, if we've like used most of our PP, I will just uh, use my token then. Alright guys, so if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and or a, com and or a comment. Um, maybe both, because I, I do appreciate your comments and your likes. Also subscribe if you want to stay updated when my latest videos come out. Also if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. The links as always are in the description. And I want to thank you guys for watching and for putting up with my nasally voice. Pikachu really appreciates it as well. He's all full of love. Thank you guys so much and I will see you on the next episode of my limited heel run of Pokemon Yellow.